After looking over the code of conduct for, um, no particular reason, I came to the conclusion that Reddit is a fucking shitty website. I mean, from a design sense. The rules don't coincide with the features of the website. Now, apparently, Reddit is really anti-creator. Now, you might think me, being a creator, would be inherently biased against anti-creator practices. But I'm surprisingly open-minded about the subject. For example, The Escapist will straight up ban you for posting your own shit, but that's in their best interest because they create and don't want competition. God, they just wouldn't survive if people knew good video game reviews existed. But Reddit doesn't create shit. The only thing in their interest is getting more content on the site. So discouraging people from posting relevant, well-made content is retarded. And only enforced against video creators, I can assume. I mean, the number one post on Reddit at time of writing is a picture of a tree stump. How hard do you think the moderator staff worked to make sure that Undiscovered America stole that photo from whoever actually took it? Yeah, fuck you, Undiscovered America. You probably took that picture yourself. Get off Reddit for breaking the fucking rules. But that's only part of it. Reddit is a community, not a platform for self-promotion. Proudly boasts the fuck creators section of the code of conduct. But it's not designed like a community. Six seasons and a movie! For one thing, why is it so hard to find your friends list? It doesn't even appear to do anything. It's almost like the only reason it exists is so that I would have to take out the part where I said there was no friend feature making this next transition a little awkward. It's all segregated into little groups and ranked in a way that makes content easier to find. If it was really about community, wouldn't clicking on one of these links take you to the comment section or another community hub rather than directly to the thing you clicked on? Speaking of the comment section, why is it set up in such a way that you get alerted to comments on something you posted if you're not supposed to be the person who made it? Like, say I'm a good little Redditor and I go online and I steal this video and post it to Reddit. Why do I care what anyone says about it? I mean, don't most things have comment sections where they are originally posted? Unless the goal is specifically to have a place where you can discuss a video where the original creator isn't welcome. Even if that is the case, why alert the person who posted it in the first place to new comments? Comments. Anything they have to say is equally as valid as everyone else in the comment section. So alerting the original poster would only serve to create an overwhelming presence of a solitary opinion, polarizing this so-called community. Another really antithetical element of Reddit is the point system. It's completely arbitrary, yes, but it's still a reward mechanic. Shouldn't you reward people for creating? Not aggregating? Hell, not even aggregating. I mean, presenting the content for aggregation by other people. Reddit has a very paradoxical zeitgeist. A pro-content, anti-creator community. Which sounds a lot like promoting toxicity while telling System of a Down to go fuck themselves. And like I said, it only appears to apply to people who produce videos. I'm sure they don't investigate the posts on r slash jokes to make sure they've all been said in an Amy Schumer set before. So the only way to avoid being flagged as a spammer is to... You guessed it. SPAM! Only 10% of your posts should be something you had a hand in making. So every time you create something, you have to bend over and drop 9 links on Reddit, just so you can post the actual relevant content if you're not willing to find someone to trade favors with. But asking someone else to post or making a burner account are also against the rules, but those rules are unenforceable. I mean, how is Reddit supposed to know that Nether Smash was paid millions of dollars to post the teaser trailer to the It movie? People use the site to find content they're interested in. So banning anyone from posting content in a relevant subreddit is bullshit. And it's especially bullshit to punish the people who are honest and forthright enough to post their own content for evaluation. Almost as bullshit as YouTube getting rid of annotations. End cards don't have a fraction of the functionality that annotations do. Like, what if your video is supposed to have a stinger after the end card? Or a very long stinger, like a collection of outtakes, Tears of Grace style? Or what if your end cards are simply longer than 20 seconds? Such as big YouTubers who have more than 20 seconds worth of patrons to thank, like YMS, for example. How about people who make long videos and need to be able to put links to relevant articles on screen while they're relevant to the points being made? What about the ability to use annotations to let people skip parts of the video, such as spoilers in a review? If you don't want to hear spoilers, click to this part in the video. Or click past the intro portion of a video. Or a track list with timestamps for a self-produced album. Or, you know, just the ability to link more than four things. These are all functions that are simply going away. 
And that's not even touching the non-link related functions, like the ability to correct a mistake or misinformation in a video. That's a really important function. If YouTube is going to insist on making end cards mandatory, then they need to be placeable at any point during the video and have a more robust custom text feature. Yeah, no one is safe. I review websites now. Don't ask when the Ruby Volume 4 review is coming out. If you support me on Patreon, I will be one step closer to building a time machine that will allow me to go forward in time to when the Ruby review is actually finished and bringing it back.